Hey, what's happening YouTube? Rajay back to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by to check out another video. I'm going to take a look at one from here in Cincinnati. This comes from Mad Tree Brewing. This is their Round In 3rd and it is a red IPA. Comes in at an ABV of 6.5% and 51 IBU. Definitely looking forward to checking this one out. Mad Tree Brewing has actually been growing pretty good. They're actually an expansion um, of their brewery at this time. So they're really growing very nicely. Uh, probably one of the top two or three uh, breweries here in Cincinnati and really have a nice standout line of products. If you ever get a chance to try some of the Mantry uh, beers, definitely would recommend them. Let's go ahead and get this open and get it into a glass. All right, so there we go. We get it poured into the glass. Came out with a nice two-finger head. Get it up there to the light and has that darker uh, golden orange hue kind of pushing it towards what would be considered, I guess, the red uh, IPA, but not really as reddish as some of the other ones I've seen out there before. On the beer itself, do have some cloudiness, as you can see. Some clarity, but not really too much. Can kind of make my hand out on the other side there, but uh, not fully seeing through it. A lot of cloudiness and murkiness, and of course that chill haze. The head though, nice foamy head, Looks to have a little bit of rockiness, some good bubble action taking place. Inside the beer, you can see some of the carbonation, lots of action as well. So this one should open up hopefully pretty nice. Go ahead and get the aroma. Just like your IPAs out there, you get that citrus kick that comes right out. Picking up some of those notes of the grapefruit, um, something like the orange. But you're also getting a little bit of a sweetness out of this one kind of from the malts in the background. Definitely a nice pineness, a nice dankness out of here as well. The aroma itself is a pretty good uh, sizable aroma, not having to sniff too hard to really get it out of the glass. Very nice hoppy sense there. Um, you can see already some of the lacing as the head starting to go down a little bit, um, starting to form already on the glass. And as it actually is here warming up a little bit, it is getting a little bit more of a reddish tint as you can see there. So with this one, you might want to take it out, let it breathe for a little bit, and then uh, start to enjoy it. But nothing else too much really getting out of it. Um, trying to see if any of the malts would actually jump up. Doesn't seem to really be that uh, with the case here. Go ahead and get the taste. You get the hoppiness up front with the IPA. Get it right to the tip of the tongue. But the flavors do get around the mouth nicely. Picking up the flavors, not just in the front, but also the back of the mouth. Almost has a... Uh, sensation for a little bit of a, a chewiness so it does have a little bit of an astringency there uh, probably a little more um, light to not fully midway but a good amount where you have that sensation duration does last moderately for a good period of time feeling it still kicking around filling it up to the roof of the mouth uh, the flavors from actually drinking the beer I'm starting to feel more of the bitterness actually getting to the middle of the tongue so getting an initial taste and then it's also settling in other parts. Carbonation, definitely there. Um, not overly carbonated. Really sits nicely on the palate. Sits as kind of a, I would consider it the medium, maybe medium to full body. Uh, to, you do have a little bit of a presence there. I don't know if I would want this as much on a real hot day, but going into early spring, uh, or sorry, mid-spring, early summer, I think this might actually might not be a bad one to have. Texture is very nice, not too watery at all. It does have a little bit of a, we'll say kind of a funkiness in the flavor. I'm trying to place what it actually is, but it does give it a distinct quality. Something with maybe the hops or the malts they use where it actually has a little bit of a presence about it. But I think overall, pretty decent beer. Definitely one I could throw down pretty easily. I think uh, how it compares to other ones out there, it does very well. For me, I'm actually going to give this one a rating of... Uh, three five out of five so it'll be a b rating i think it's a solid offer i think it's definitely one that if you're an ipa fan you want to definitely check out mad tree and their rounded third right out of here in cincinnati ohio like i said any of their beers you see out there if you can get them definitely check them out i think you'd be pleased have a great line of beers here i think at the uh, brewery they probably have at least like 20 or something beers at any time that they work on they have a great um Russian Stout, which is their Axis Monday, and um, they're about to release their Galaxy High, which is probably one of my favorite. What well, is it is actually now my favorite um, Imperial IPA out there. So 
Check them out if you get a chance, and appreciate you swinging by. Check out another video. Hopefully you like what you saw there, and if so, please remember to hit that like button. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe to see up to speed on the videos. But hopefully I'll see you in the next video, and I appreciate you uh, spending some time here. Keep drinking good craft beer, and look forward to seeing you next time. Cheers. <laughs>